everybody, Corey Thorne, spiritual healer, coming in to do my channel messages. And um, this one is going to be for Pisces. I'm just trying to pound out the last of these right now because oh, it's almost the end of May. It's the last two weeks and I didn't do any for the rest of May. So um, on the 15th, I think I started to record these. So I'm just trying to get the last of them out. This is for Pisces. Please remember, it's not a personal reading. Don't take it to replace any medical, psychological advice that you've been given. And please know this is a collective. If you want a personal reading with me, go to coreythorne.com and you can book your own appointment right there. Um, and also if you are like email, like sending me a message on my Facebook or you are texting me, whatever it may be, the quickest way to get an appointment is to go book your own. I, I book when I have time. I have to go back and go through the schedules myself. And, um, and so I message you back when I, when I got time, if I'm, if I have to do the booking for you, but all bookings, it's much easier to take care of yourself to do it that way. So this is for Pisces that's coming up and Pisces. I have an entrapment story that's around you. Um, and the walls came down. I was just singing this in Taurus as well, but the story is very different. So I have, I have for you. Hmm. You got the tower moment, Pisces. You've got the tower moment. What? What's coming out for you? So, Pisces. There's some trouble in paradise for some of my Pisces, not for all of you. So I have some trouble in paradise. Uh, I have some have some sense of like feeling like you are trapped. I feel like your world, the way that you would have loved it to be or the way you thought it would be, didn't all work out as planned. Well, that's the whole freaking world right now. We are still, especially if you're in Canada, if you're in Canada right now, we are just like so still locked down, restricted. It's crazy. But so what we have here is the eight of swords that came out. And it's the first card, and it's the illusion of being trapped. And this is in this is in air, it's in the swords, it's like just being surrounded by. So everything that's surrounding you and holding you is more of your own stories. I feel like for some of you, you have self-sabotaged yourself a few times and and waiting for something. Why do you keep like instead of speaking the truth, it's almost like for some of my Pisces, you're afraid to say what you really want to say, what you really need to say. I do have the Knight of Wands, uh, which is fire, which is in reverse. And I have the Tower. And then I have the Wheel of Fortune, which is in the upright. So I feel like it's like, how am I going to get this? I have the Judgment. They're all in different placements. So let's see. Let me feel this out. I have two stories going on for you, Pisces. Of course I do. You change your mind like the freaking weather. Um, so for you, Pisces, so I have that sense of entrapment. I have the entrapment story. Um, I have something being stuck. I feel like the next eight weeks, eight weeks for you is a, is a crucial time for you to be able to make some choices and some decisions. I feel like you're on a very much a go time. There's a little bit of a crunch here. There's some honesty, some truth that has to come out. I have the eight of wands or the knight of wands, sorry, but the knight of wands is in reverse. Uh, and this, I'm going with the color that's in this for me of what's resonating with me and it being in reverse is that, you know, it's, it's the mass man wearing a mask, but looking directly at us. So looking at us, but so, so courageous enough to look at us, but not courageous enough to lift up the face. So there's a secret that's being told. And I feel like this comes into our sacral. I'm getting it. It's orangey color. And I feel like I'm getting the sacral stories. I'm getting the sacral in the third eye. And there's a truth that is not being seen. Or we see what we want to see. We believe what we want to believe. But there is something more going on here that's like, that just feels like it's like the fire is like, uh, being dampened, being kind of put out, whatever you want to be excited about. I feel like you have something that you need to speak of first, or you need to speak your truth um, because you're, it's like, but you're afraid to, because you're afraid of what's to come. You're afraid if you tell your truth or if you speak your own story, then it's not what you want now. It's not going to happen. Um, I do have the tower coming in with this. And if you look at the tower, you see the, you, it's almost like this is kind of the, it almost looks like in my card, 
this man upside down who's hanging on to the who's holding on to the ledge just like you know he's bare naked he kind of looks like my um looks like the the image of the um paradox in my card and so what it's showing to me is you know is he is he really falling or did he jump is he is he is he holding on I just feel like he doesn't, for me right now, he's not matching the whole story of your tower. So there's something not aligning to the truth of the stories that you're listening to, that you're telling yourself or that you're hearing. And so there is something of a, a crumble, a fall down. Something is, something stands in the way of what is to come next. And the next eight weeks, the next two months, the next I want to say the next three months. I feel like it goes like the, it's like an eight week. It's an eight week, but it's it's three months in full creation here. I feel like the next eight weeks starts to expose something, starts to change something, or you start to feel like you're you're finally able to speak your truth. The next three months then show a lot of change. You see a lot of shift happening, and then we come into the wheel of fortune. And I feel like lady luck is on your side because things are going to end things are going to change and what seems like it's an ending is actually a very strong beginning and it's going to be a beginning into finally stepping into the true life that you are here to exist within and the wheel of fortune is a 10 which is five five which is transformation and this also shows two sides of the fortune so you got the shadow it's like so it's the full come together when all pieces fall together is what i'm getting when all comes together, when all aligns, but this has to take place. And, and this being a, a 16, it's like, I feel like it's like all things have to come together. All things have to fall apart so that all things can come together. That's what it feels like to me. All things have to fall apart, but something is looking at you. There's a challenge looking at you. There is a um, emotional story of the past. This feels like it's all the way in the sacral, some sacral healing for you that needs to be healed. So ties to relationships, ties to um, past stories. And I feel like it also plays in some guilt stories. And I feel like there's some guilt that lays out into what we're hiding. We have the eight of wands also comes into that. And there's the sheep down below there. And it's like, don't follow the sheep. <laughs> don't become the sheep, be the leader. So you're, you're kind of like going over the sheep, like you're kind of like being a trailblazer to your truth. I feel like for the eight, what I'm being told is the eight of one. I know it's the eight of wands and trust me, it's not always what exactly what by the book to the truth because I'm channeling. So what I'm being told is that this is like, you're like finally starting to go in the right direction. Things are finally starting to go in the right direction. You're finally starting to go in the right direction. But then we have the two of, Two of cups, we have that twin flame energy. We have the judgment in reverse. So I feel like these are in reverse. And and I feel like there's going to be some like some like seeking some help, some counseling. There is some real challenges that are coming, but it comes in between the sun. So I feel like this may be um, I don't think this is with yourself. I don't feel like this is at all with yourself. I feel like it's like passing down some judgment, some like there's going to have to be some counseling. I have no idea what just happened. I just lost all connection. I hope it's going to stay recording, but right in the midst of this, um, and this is a long, hmm, it was a long time. Like I lost connection. So there's, so judgment is here, but it's in reverse. And of course this is 20. So this matches this wheel of fortune. And so this and this is going together 10, 20, right? And so what I'm getting with this is that what, what is, what brings this fully in, I feel like something, something of a previous relationship kind of affected this a little bit that affects your happiness. And I feel feel like you're finally getting justice or service and something or somebody is finally a freaking done deal in your life. It's like 
whoever played that relationship with you, that twin story relationship, or had like some sort of hold on you, like they had some sort of secrets they held on to, and they were going to expose you or they're going to tell you, I feel like everything comes out, everything gets told, everything gets exposed, but there's a cleaning up here. I feel like it's like, so I have the sun, which is like, so it's, and what I'm getting and what's drawing my attention to all of this is pay attention to the X's. X marks the spot. So this is the way I have this and it all goes together. So I have X, which is 10, 20, and then 21. See how they are. So I have one like this and then two and the one in between. So I feel like standing alone, trying to do it. I feel like this is judgment that comes when all things feel like they are coming together, but um, but you know this one thing of the past, and this is the ending of a twin flame story. I feel like you've either hung on to somebody or somebody's been hung on to your energy for a long time, and it's finally being freaking done. It is being let go. The sun card, the 10, the 21, I feel like this is finally like everything aligned. You're coming into, you're walking into soulmate energy now. You're walking into a true relationship, a connection. And I feel like with this, it's like, you are truly like this. You don't have to be passive aggressive. You don't have, here's the truth. There's a softness, there's a gentleness. And the five of pentacles is seeking this advice, this, and I feel like it comes when you realize that you're not gonna lose the things that you want, the things that are in your life now. I feel like everything is staying, but I feel like there is some challenges around here. Um, but I also have that, you know, it just feels like you're just, you're just having to reach in really truly reach in this month, really reach in and grab onto what is yours to not let yourself be stuck in a story to finally be done with it. And the sun is really showing me like, um, I feel like for me, what I'm getting with this is that all the planets, I feel like we're, we're stepping into. So the sun represents for me like that, that strong masculinity energy and taking, you know, you're taking full control. It is time for you to step in. You are fully owning this. You know, you're not letting emotions run the show. You're not letting fear run the show. You're finding a voice. You're finding your strength and you're just standing up to somebody or something that was in your life of previous, of days gone by. And the days gone by have been so long and this whole, so it's like a curse almost feels like that it's being released for some of you. For others of you, I feel like it's a whole different story. I feel like for some of you, it's like you've been waiting for the ray of sunshine. You've been waiting for the love. Hold on. Because now two cards fell out. So this is still going to tie into that same story. Then you have eternal and ride the wave and awareness of truth. And so this is Karina card. <laughs> yes, she looks a lot like me because she's my deck of cards. And it wasn't a it, this wasn't an intentional card. This wasn't in the plans. So that's what you have to remember. Everything of your past was in the past because whatever's in your now. So so I'm in your Pisces reading. <laughs> Whatever was in your past is not really in your now. But the problem is, is that the pieces that came together, the guilt, the shame, the like looking directly at you, there's some like, there's some brave cowards out there that are just like, like, just like play the game for so long, but you're not, a, you're not able to, you're not able to take down the queen. And that's what it feels like to me. It's just that you're riding the wave. You're opening your heart. You are allowing in love. And so for some of you, it is slow and steady, but the cycles, and it's like, you're finally ending cycles, but you know who you are. And you're going to be this month, Pisces, finally able to step back up. You're getting, I feel like for some of you, you're getting validation. I feel like there was some sort of mistreatment, some sort of like wrongdoing, and you're going to get your, you're going to get your truth. You're going to see your truth unfold. You're going to see the crumbling of somebody else, like somebody, a bully of the past or somebody who's tried to, you're just going to see the unfolding of something else happening here as well. Um, and I just feel like you're just going to open your heart and allow yourself to go. This is like just being able to embrace and enjoy the life that you have now. Whatever it is that have kept you from enjoying the life that you're living now is finally here. You are coming into wholeness, the light and the dark, which is Shyama, is that she was never dark. She was never shadowed. She was never any of that. And it's like, you're just like, you're, you're not believing the shadow stories. You're not believing the false stories. You're, you're truly becoming who you are. 
So there's a strong sense of becoming from my Pisces this month and just owning your relationship. Like there's, there's been endings and beginnings and you're in the beginning of the new beginning and you need to ride the wave of your truth to know that your happiness, your joy is here. We are in Gemini. Um, sorry, we're still, we're not in Gemini. We're almost in Gemini. We're still in Taurus. So we're almost in Gemini. I feel like the shift on the 21st into Gemini is like, that is good, solid. That's good, solid place for you to be right now, for you to be able to allow your Pisces energy to uh, just shine. And um, yeah, whatever it is that is holding you, whatever is holding you hostage or whatever tried to take you down or whoever that was that tried to make you out to be somebody you're not, done. You got the everyday miracle she is. So there is some big shifts. There is some big changes. There is some miracles coming in. I feel like Pisces, for many of you, you're a blessing upon this earth. And I feel like for being the blessings, I feel like you're going to be honored with this. There is also, I, I do also have a sad story coming in for some of my Pisces. And I don't know if this is a Pisces who has not been well or is passing. Um, and they're your family and you're cross watching. But I also have like... Um, I have that mother, I just keep getting mother Mary's with you through your challenges as you pass over, as you pass through, as you pass through. So if whether you're just going through a change or you're just passing through something, or you have somebody who's, who is, who is in the process of leaving this earth of old age of just passing through and just know there is that divine energy. I just got like the, like someone just put like, I just felt like someone just punched into the back of my heart, right to the middle of my, right here. And I keep getting a heart. And this card also shows the heart. This is the heart of Mother Mary. And so I'm getting the heart of Mother Mary. I mean, it's not really Mother Mary per se, but it's the energy. It's the essence. It's the how Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene and, and all the Marys, how the Divine Mother inspires me, how Mother Teresa inspires me, how I'm so inspired by women who, who choose to do the right things for the right reasons, to be in places where we have to watch probably some of the most horrific, but know that we... We have to endure what we are about to exist within to know that on the other side, there is big changes. So I feel like for that, it's the effects. So it's the, the diamond effects to outgrowth effects. So something of a, something of a sacrifice that was made in order to do the right thing for the right reasons. And there's validation to this. There is truth to this. There is divine love right around. And I feel like there is miracles that are unfolding the next few months for Pisces really truly speaks a lot of stories and a lot of truth. Much love. Have a beautiful rest of May and I will see you in June. Bye-bye.